The record-setting heat wave gripping much of Southern California is creating extremely dangerous conditions, and it's only expected to get hotter. The excessive heat, coupled with a red flag warning, raises the risk of wildfires and heat-related illnesses. Yeah, KTLA 5's Anjali Kakade live in Woodland Hills tonight. She's got more on the heat and its ongoing impact. Anjali. Sharon, Rick, we are live in Woodland Hills where it was a hot one. Temperatures reached 106 degrees today. Now that's a record. At this hour, if you can see behind me here, temperatures looking right around the mid 80s, but people in the valley say they're still looking for ways to beat the heat. As Southern California reached record breaking heat on Friday, parks across the region were noticeably different. Right now, um, you barely see anyone right now. Christopher Lorec works at his family's food stall in Lake Balboa Park and says normally people are out having a good time. Running around, um, going on the lake and like um, going to the bicycles. But today. Yeah, it's very empty. And for good reason. The National Weather Service says the scorching temperatures pose a high risk for dangerous heat related illness for nearly everyone, but especially for the elderly, children and those active outdoors. So uh, even though it's really hot, I got to get those steps in. The heat didn't stop Tommy French from getting a run in as he trains for his first LA Marathon next year. But he also says he's got a game plan. Plenty of water and um, you know, I have a water bottle in my car, so uh, next time I go around the lake, I'll take a few sips. Today's heat also threatened the safety of firefighters battling the Plenty Fire in Santa Clarita. L.A. County Fire confirmed six firefighters were sent to the hospital for heat-related illness, as a red flag warning is under effect across the region. In Thousand Oaks, a brush fire burned dangerously close to homes near the 101 and 23 freeways. While it did cause concern, no one was hurt and firefighters were able to put out the flames. But for those kiddos who spent the afternoon outdoors, their focus was on just trying to keep cool. I'm keeping cool with agua fresca and ice and trying to not run around as much. Now, officials say if you don't already have one, come up with a plan on how to keep both yourself and your family cool in the coming days. Meanwhile, we have a list of resources up on our website, KTLA.com. For now, reporting live here in Woodland Hills, Angela Cockerell, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Angela, thank you for that.